Bethune-Cookman University introduced its new head football coach this afternoon. Ray Woody Jr. is a former BCU player and graduate who later became an assistant coach at a number of Power 5 schools. Now he becomes the university's 16th head coach after some drama and disagreement with the school's first pick, Ed Reed. West 2's Claire Metz joins us live now from BCU. And Claire, everyone is talking about this new chapter. They really are. It's been a difficult time after negotiations fell apart with pro Hall of Famer Ed Reed. Reed had criticized conditions here at BCU, complaining quite publicly and quite loudly on social media. That led to a lot of student protests. But leaders say right now all that's behind them and they're coming together to support Ray Woody. It feels so good to be home. New Bethune-Cookman University head football coach Ray Woody Jr. donned his maroon and gold jacket to much enthusiasm and applause. Yeah, why, cat? As many of his football players, BCU leaders and community members looked on. Coach Woody says he'll take the next 30 days to create a plan, meet staff, go one-on-one -on -one with team members, emphasizing academics and football to create a winning culture. Being smart, that covers a lot. You know, discipline, doing the right thing in the classroom, you know, on the field. So when those things happen, you know, wins are going to come. Last month, unity was hard to come by on the campus. Students protested when negotiations with prospective coach Ed Reed ended after Reed publicly criticized physical conditions at the university. Students, too, complained about buildings in disrepair, mold in dorm rooms. We want to respond to our students. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it has to be about them. University interim president Dr. Lawrence Drake says he heard the students and has pledged more than $10 million for campus improvements. So on the one hand, it's about about repair, but the other, frankly, the other side of this is transformation. How do we transform this campus to be the best it can be? Let's not show up to work. Let's get to work. With the announcement of Coach Woody at the helm, students, certainly the football team, some of whose players sat on the selection committee, say they are newly committed to looking forward, not back. The train is back moving, and then we also have a conductor that can lead us to the places that we need to go. And so we're very excited. Now, in addition to involving football players, BCU President Drake says leaders are meeting with students in town hall formats. They've already met with freshmen, tomorrow night sophomores, and in the coming weeks, juniors and seniors. We're live in Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.